Welcome to part two of EnviroTube. As you can see, I'm, I'm covered in bees, but I love it. We've actually got so many enthusiastic people here. I hope you sort of get this enthusiasm and realize why we're doing it. I mean, it's more than a job for us. It's something that we love. Yeah, this is gonna get ugly, guys. Now you've got to imagine, you've got your hive, we split it, we don't know which half has the queen. The half without a queen has got to get a queen going. So in a few weeks time, you're going to see a mating swarm. Now a mating swarm is going to be all the drones in the area chasing after a few virgin queens. It's going to be sort of a cloud of bees. And if you ever want to feel important and impressive, walk through that cloud. It's like Moses and the Red Sea. It actually parts for you. It's quite an experience. Now one of the techniques we have started doing in Karinga is this top one we're going to turn upside down when we do the split and that stops any slumping from occurring and stops honey spilling. We opened three in a row that weren't ready. This one, pretty sure it's going to be good to go. One half has the queen, both halves have eggs with queen cells in it. So the half without a queen can manufacture a queen from the queen cells. You can see this was the top and now it's the bottom. Okay, so we've turned it upside down. Okay. You don't. In fact, there won't be. There'll only be a queen in one half. But there's queen eggs right through the egg mass. But occasionally, that's why like Mick got a free hive, because the queen didn't come about. They hatched all out and there's no queen left. This is the top one. So this is the one least likely to survive. I mean, it's over 90% survival rate, but it's the one least likely to survive. Oh, drool. Good. And mesh, can you find a piece of mesh? Okay, small hive beetle, it's a pest of honeybees. Uh, it can attack a hive when it's just split. The hive is very vulnerable. The new bottom half doesn't have any resin defences. So we use this mesh to provide some defence for the bees to get their act together. Small hive beetle comes from South Africa and arrived about 10 years ago. All the pests in the area will come to this hive and have a go. Now small hive beetle can attack it, attack it in large numbers, 20, 30, 50 small hive beetles can be trying to force their way into a hive. Now with the established half of the hive, with the established entrance, the bees have a lot of defences. But in the new half of the hive, they don't have these defences. That's where we put the wire. The wire mesh is to try and stop the small hive beetle from getting in. A nice one. Oh, <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> Okay, so this is the small hive uh, beetle blocker. Beetle blocker. Beta blocker, beetle blocker, yes, okay. The, that's your new entrance hole. Yeah, yeah. You've got to take that masking tape off. Has that one got the tape over the hole as well? It doesn't need it because the entrance that the bees have created on the bottom box is already protected. Yeah. It's the new box that hasn't got the protection. See, this box has got no resin on it at all, and that's the new entrance. So anything can just dive into this hive. Okay, so that's good to go. That's literally it. We have now done a split. That's why I thought, look, for the sake of a demonstration and to sort of uh, make it interesting, we'll do it for free. Because there's not a lot to it when it goes well. <laughs> I'm just spinning out of bees. I'm covered in bees. I hope you enjoyed this EnviroTube. Gets to sh show you a little insight into what we're doing. I feel like a bee midwife. I'm covered in resin, in bees, in pollen, and I feel good. I actually feel as though I've done something good for the environment. So you can see we opened them. A lot of them weren't ready, a lot of them were. As you would have seen in the video, if the eggs are in both sides, we're good to go. If the eggs aren't in both sides of the hive, we're just closing it up again, no damage done. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.